All right, so we're uh, flip-flopping on engines this week, um, going back and forth, getting things done. And uh, this uh, the customer of this tunnel port engine, uh, Mr. Randy, said that he would rather run an electric water pump. So um, I arranged to um, swap from the mechanical pump to the CBR uh, universal pump. And since he wants to run an alternator, uh, the easiest way to do that is to run uh, the Epi Power water pump adapter. And I um, wanted to, to give Mr. J. Brown a, a thumbs up here uh, for, for this product that he makes. It's, um, it, this is a universal water pump, and this is just the adapter to, to mount the water pump to the block. Um, all CNC made. Comes with O-rings to seal and a fastener kit. And um, this is proven, going from a mechanical to a uh, electric water pump is proven to be worth about 13 or 14 horsepower. So uh, that'll be a nice little bonus. And they seem to work just fine on, on the street um, and go for, for years. So uh, ready to, to get this thing swapped over. So um, this is gonna be a short video. I just wanted to, to plug Jay Brown and uh, show off what, uh, what we have changed to. So let's get this uh, water pump assembled and, and bolted to the block. All right, so got the water pump assembled and um, just four bolts to put this on. It's the same deal as a regular water pump. If you're going in, putting a bolt in this hole, it hits water, so make sure to put silicone on that. And um, that'll be about it. The beauty of this um, water pump adapter is that uh, it allows you to use a factory alternator bracket, which if you buy the Mazir or CVR or FE pumps, you know, off the shelf, they don't allow for anything like that. So you're able to use a lot of the factory hardware. So I'll get this, uh, get this bolted on and uh, we'll show a, a quick picture of what it looks like, and um, then we'll be done. So thanks to Mr. J. Brown, and uh, thanks to you guys for watching.